just checked my email, decided to check the spam folder, you know, to empty it. Turns out there were like four butt-kicking birds that Gmail decided to put in the spam folder. Remember butt-kicking birds? That was like a month ago. So if you did end up sending me a butt-kicking bird, but for whatever reason it did not end up in the 100th episode opening montage, I apologize. I don't even know why I chose to mention that. Chances are you've probably all forgotten about that by now. Just don't take it personally. Like, except for you. You should take it personally. <laughs> Good afternoon, butt kickers. It's May 6th, the 126th day of 2011, which means that 74 years ago today, the Hindenburg went boom boom. That was a big day for humankind, you know, when we found out that hydrogen, the stuff that stars are made out of, is flammable. The Hindenburg disaster is probably most known for the news coverage that went along with it, namely Herbert Morrison's radio eyewitness broadcast where he infamously proclaimed, Oh, the humanity! I don't know. Zeppelins have always been a weird idea to me, and they were riding around and sky in a giant balloon. I mean, what's wrong with an airplane? I actually don't answer that question because there is an exceedingly large number of things wrong with an airplane. Well, that's enough mass death for one episode. Let's move on to something else. Let me tell you what, this whole three days of class in one week thing has really thrown off my perception of time. Me and my friends partied on Wednesday night, so the following day yesterday felt like Saturday, but I guess yesterday didn't feel Saturday-ish enough to make today feel like Sunday. So now today just feels like a non-day. We'll call it unday. I mean, days of the week were only invented to help humans schedule and understand time in easy increments anyway, so who needs them? Outside it's Friday. In here, and in here, it's unday. I declare unday to be a butt-kicker initiative. A commission for one day to forget about the days of the week, forget about what society expects of you, and just spend the day doing what you want to do. Now, I'm not talking like, well, today is Unday, so I better set a fire to the Costco in town. No, no, no. Unday is a day to relax, to play video games, to watch movies, to eat unhealthily. Coincidentally, today is International No Diet Day, also known as Paunchy Pride Day, also known as Who Cares If You Require a Quintuple Bypass at the Age of 25, At Least You're Being You Day. Other rules for Unday. You cannot answer calls, texts, or emails. Slovenly hermits don't need anyone but themselves in a screen at which to stare. Also, if you expect that what you are about to do is quote-unquote good for you, then you must do your best to avoid it. Getting up and walking to your car and driving to the pile of pizza would probably burn calories and maybe subject you to some sunlight. Have them deliver instead. And don't you get any vegetables on that pizza. Make it bacon, pepperoni, sausage, bacon, ham, bacon, lard, and bacon. Another rule, throw all inhibitions to the wind. You feel like picking your nose? Go ahead and have a good finger dig. You feel like scratching your various assorted areas? Scratch away. Are you nursing a sizable plug of gastrointestinal methane? Let her rip. Today is your unday. However, perhaps the most important aspect of unday, limit yourself to, let's say, about five undays a year. Any more than that and the overall worthlessness of your existence is going to go up a few clicks. Also, never have two undays in a row. As a matter of fact, I think every unday should be immediately followed by a run day. A day in which you are exceedingly productive and sunshiny and energetic and all that nonsense. And I'm not trying to promote laziness, I'm just saying that a day to yourself is probably a good move, at least from a mental standpoint. Plus, it'll make the following run day seem all the more productive. Until tomorrow, I'm Griff, and I'm still talking. <laughs>